Hello, how are you? My friend from Cambodia. I'm so glad to make this video so I can help you during therapy. Uh, it's been a while that I haven't said hi or something like that, but I'm so sorry, I've been busy here in Chile. So, um, I know that you have more patience now with CP, so I want to do a little demonstration about some exercise that you can do at the hospital. These exercises are not for all the kids, okay? These are some ex exercises that you can use with your patients. But please, don't do it with everyone, okay? You need to see, um, you need to see what type of patient you can do it and what type of patient you cannot do it, okay? These are always some examples. Please notice that, okay? If there's something that you don't understand in this video, please put stop and Shrey Po can tell you about what I'm trying to say, okay? Okay, Shrey Po? Good! Yeah. We are going to start. Hi, here we go. First exercise. Okay, Tanya is going to be my patient. I couldn't find a kid to make this video, so she's also an LP and she's going to help me with this exercise. She's going to be my patient today. Just imagine that she is one year or two years. I don't know, okay? Okay, first exercise. Remember that always that you're working with a kid with CP, first thing that you need to do is the mobilization, okay? I already moved this girl, okay? So always remember you have to start with the closer joint, then, for example, if you're going to move the elbow, you start with the Sorry, you start with the with this part. Sorry, I forgot the name in English. This part, then the elbow, and then the wrist. Okay, so we start the mobilization like this. It's the same way that I to I told to you when I was in Cambodia. Then you move the elbow, for example, and then you move the wrist. Okay, the same thing in the lower part of the body. Okay, you start with the hip, then the knee and then the toes, okay? After you do that, then you can sit your patient and start working. First exercise that I'm going to show you. Yeah, okay. First exercise. She's going to put in this position, okay? Imagine it's a kid, again. And we are going to work with some arm mobilization, okay? So what you can do, is put your patient like this and imagine if you want to work with this side of the body you put your hand here and you tell your patient to grab the toy or whatever you have at the hospital grab here very good and she can leave it there very good again now you can cross for example excellent very good wait at this point, she's working the trunk stability and the arm. Okay? Very good. This is one exercise. You can do it with both hands. The same. You put your hand here and you start working with this one. Go here. Muy bien. Very good. Here. Very good. And depends. If I put the toy at this position, I'm going to look or if I put the toy in this position, okay? The requirement is different. This is more difficult for the kid. This is going to be more easy, okay? So you have to start gra graduating the activity that you're going to do. Very good. Second exercise. Second exercise. Okay. This is a typical exercise that we already make in Cambodia. I don't know if you remember this one. I'm going to grab the hip of my patient and I'm going to move. Remember that it's a hip, so the legs are not going to touch the floor. She's going to be She's going to be like this, okay, in reality, not here. So, I'm going to grab the hip of my patient and I'm going to move first to the right side and then to the left side and then I'm going to move back and then I'm going to move forward okay 
What I'm working here? I'm working the trunk stability and the neck stability. Okay, if your kit doesn't have neck or trunk stability, so you put more help. You can put your whole body like this, for example, and then you move. Como este caído por ahí. Like, you see, she, she don't have no neck stability, for example. So you just move. Okay? You can move, as I told you, right, left, back, and front. Okay? Perfect. Uh, third exercise. going to sit here. You can use a typical chair or something like this, okay? Just remember that the kid has to be in 90 degrees, okay? This is too small for her, but for example, a kid, I don't know, like two years, this size is good. So, I first check 90 degrees. Perfect, good. And now, what I'm going to work with her is Trunk stability again, and also I'm going to work the extension of the arm. So first, I'm going to work with this one, a uh, right side. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. Again, excellent. Again, very good. And now I'm going to turn to the other side. I'm still working with the same arm, okay? Very good. And then I can switch to the other arm, okay? Now, what happens if our kid cannot stay in this position? Then I will need some help. Fran. You can call another therapy that is working with you, another physiotherapy, for example. And what she's going to do? She's going to grab the hip of the kid, and she's going to give the stability. In the meantime, I'm going to work with her. So, she's grabbing the hip. She is the one that is making the stability of the kid. And now I'm still working with the same. Uh, you see? Very good. Again. Yes. And again, if I put it here, she's going to work more. If I put it here, she's not going to work very much. Okay? So you have to see a distance. I hope it's like this distance, like very horizontal. Now come exercise number five. <laughs> if you have a very small kit, you can use something like this, okay? Or you can use uh, like a pillow, like a very small one. This is a big one, okay? You can use a small one for a tiny baby, I don't know, like 10 months baby or 9 months baby. So, you put your baby in this position. Okay. And you see, the baby has more support. All the trunk is with support. Okay? Imagine it's a tiny baby. And now, I'm going to work the same, stability. So I ask the baby to please grab something. Very good. And here, if the baby is not doesn't want to do the activity, what you can do is use a toy with sound, like shh, uh, shh. You see, he goes with the sound. Okay, again, shh, shh, like baby toy. And also, if the baby doesn't work like that, you can use toys with lights, like brilliant bulb lights, for example, like cars with battery or stuff. Okay, now, if it's not a baby, it's a kid more big. What you can do is the same, but with the ball. You can do almost the same exercise. Almost the same exercise, but with the ball. Here it's more difficult because it's more unstable. Uh, okay? So it's more easy if it's a kid to do it with the, the circle one. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. You see? And then you can change the hand. You can grab your, 
the other hand of the baby like this, or if you want, you don't grab it and you just work it. She has to grab here. If not, she's going to lose stability. Yes, very good. Always reinforce your kid. When he do it, you say, hey, very good, good job, always, okay? You need to create that boundary with your, with your child. And also, if you can put the parents to work here, that will be great. So, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So these are some basic exercises that you can do with the kids that have CP in the in the ball. Okay, almost all the exercise that I show you is with the ball. The ball doesn't have to have this. Okay, it can be the regular red ball that we have at the hospital. So that's it. If you have any questions, please let it know to Shreypo or to anyone that is now in the room, and just contact me by Gmail or, or Google Drive or whatever. I hope you like it and I miss you all guys and I hope the best for all your patients. Bye!